Hey, what's up? It's your boy from the Smoke Shack coming at you live. You may see us on our Instagram page, Smoke Shack MD, and our Facebook page, The Smoke Shack, criticizing the local sheriff's department where we live, Calvert County, Maryland, and they are the Calvert County Sheriff's Office. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little insight and a little background as to why um, we do and say what we say, and the reason it is is because of how they treat our citizens and the lies that they're prepared to tell if they can't you know, find anything else. Let me show you the evidence right now on a ticket that was written this month, 2019. <clears throat> so we have a young lady. She was, I'm going to start down here at number four. She was a uh, failure of individual driving on highway to display license to uniform police on demand. That means that allegedly she didn't give her license. She didn't have it with her, something like that, alleged. If we look down here, it says... I solemnly affirm under penalty of perjury that the content of the foregoing document is true and correct to the best of my knowledge, information, and belief, and I personally serve the summons on the defendant named above. Check the X mark here. He checked off the fact that a visual comparison was made between defendant and their ID slash license. He swore under penalty of perjury that he made a comparison between the defendant and their ID if that was the case, why was she charged with failure of individual driving on highway to display license to uniform police on demand? A lie under perjury. Let's go up to number two, uh, number one here. Driving to drive motor vehicle on highway without required license and authorization. So driving without a license. Serious charge. It's a must appear. Carries jail time. So he said that he never got her license because she couldn't display it on demand, allegedly. She told him her name, her social security number, everything else. And he said, I can't find that you have a license in anywhere in the United States. If that was true, how did he get her driver's license number? If she, wasn't, if she didn't give him the ID and he couldn't find it in the computer system, how did he get it? So my question to you is, is this. Why did he write her a must-appear ticket that could, could offer her jail time? if he found in the computer that she has a valid license. By the way, I was, uh, I was privy to a speakerphone call between the, uh, the defendant here and the uh, Virginia DMV, and they showed that she's been continuously licensed, and she, as a matter of fact, she has plus five safe driving points. Um, so with that said, this was a complete and total lie of fabrication under penalty of perjury, and We've shown it right here. This is what Calvert County Sheriff's Office does to people they pull over. That's why Calvert County hasn't moved up in the world. And we're still sitting at the same place we are because this is what they do. They're insulated from the top. Sheriff Mike Evans just lets them run amok. And he has started this police culture that allows them to do this and treat citizens like this. We want to bring it to everybody's attention. And this is why we make fun. And this is why we do what we do. Because these guys are out to hurt people. And the reason I'm telling you and the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want what's happened to me in my life to happen to you. Because they don't care if perjury is involved. They will lie if they can't get you any other way. They will make it up in Calvert County, Maryland. Thank you, Mike Evans, for starting this uh, culture of policing that allows this to happen. Have a great day, guys.